Hi everyone, I'm Spencer and today is Tuesday the 31st of March. Today we're going to be learning to use inverted commas at the beginning and end of direct speech, said Mr Spencer. Where do inverted commas need to go then, Mr Spencer, said Miss Bevington. Inverted commas need to go around the direct speech. In other words, around what is being spoken, said Mr Spencer. Okay, so you just heard there a little bit of speech going on between two people. So if you pause now and go back to the start, think about where the speech marks need to go. What is being said? Where's the inverted commas need to go? What's being said in this sentence? What's out loud? And then what didn't really make sense and what doesn't need to be said out loud? So if you think about it, when we're having the conversation, you say, Hi everyone, that's where we begin our speech. Today we're going to be learning to use inverted commas at the beginning and end of direct speech. And now that's where it ends. If you're having a conversation with your friends or talking out loud, you never say the said Mr. Spencer part. We said that at the start, just to show you, it sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? So that's the part we don't include. Okay, now on to our next sentence. Where do inverted commas need to go then, Miss Spencer? Said Miss Bebbington. Again, think about what part needs to be said out loud and what part doesn't say out loud. What part's the action just telling us how it's done? Okay, we begin with where. Where do inverted commas need to go then, Mr. Spencer? That's the question that's just been asked. So that's what's been said out loud. And then it's said by Miss Bebbington. And finally, our last sentence. Inverted commas need to go around the direct speech. In other words, around what is being spoken. So again, we put our inverted commas around what is being said out loud. And then the said Mr. Spencer is just the added extra to tell us what's going on. So there is one other thing you need to remember to improve your writing when using direct speech. It's quite a good piece here. We've got our grammar right. But it's very boring, very repetitive. If you look, the word said is being said over and over again. Now, what words could you think that would be better? If you look now, I can take away this said, and you've got announced. So hi everyone, today we're going to be learning to use inverted commas at the beginning of our end of direct speech. Announced Mr. Spencer has already improved my work from said. And then what's Miss Bevington doing? She's asked the what? She's asked the question. So instead of said Miss Bevington, you can have it down as asked Miss Bevington. She's asked a question. And then when, think about it. When you're in class, you ask a question. What does the teacher always do? The teacher responds. The teacher answers your question. They reply to you. Replied Mrs. Bevington. Inverted commas go around direct speech. In other words, around what is being spoken. Replied Mr. Spencer. Okay, your challenge now is to create direct speech sentences of your own using inverted commas and better words than said. I'll be looking forward to see any fantastic examples you can send into school. Thank you. Bye.